to make way for the future vertical lift program. The production of the Black Hawk will cease, and the upgrades for the Chinook and Little Bird will be canceled. According to the original plan, the Black Hawk was to maintain its current status until retirement. After the cancellation of the future attack reconnaissance aircraft subproject of the FVL program, aviation investments have been rebalanced, allowing the nearly half-century-old Black Hawk to experience a resurgence. February 8, 2024 This day marks a new beginning for the Black Hawk. On this day, the U.S. military will equip the Black Hawk with the T-901 turboshaft engine, and there is a significant possibility that it will be upgraded to an unmanned version. Since its first appearance in Granada in 1983, the UH-60 Black Hawk has been a constant presence on battlefields. The Black Hawk helicopters have been involved in operations in Panama, the Gulf War, Somalia, Afghanistan, and the Iraq War. During Operation Desert Storm, the Black Hawk became the main force in the largest helicopter airlift operation in history. 1991 Gulf War, the U.S. Army deployed approximately 400 various models of Black Hawks in the war zone. These helicopters were equipped with protective gear against desert environments and prioritized upgrades such as long-range fuel tanks and improved avionics before deployment. Initially, Black Hawks had limited roles in bombing Iraqi radar systems. Operation Desert Sabre, however, was where the Black Hawk shined, with over 300 helicopters executing assault and transport missions. February 24, 1991, Operation Desert Sabre officially launched, with the coalition forces launching a large-scale offensive against Iraq. On the first day, the 1st Marine Division, with air fire support, defeated the Iraqi 7th and 14th Divisions. The 101st Airborne Division executed the longest-distance vertical airborne operation in military history, transporting over 4,000 soldiers on 60 Black Hawks and Chinooks, flying 140 kilometers to successfully land behind Iraqi defenses and establish their positions, securing a local battlefield victory. In addition, the Black Hawk has spawned various models and versions, such as Air Force's Special Operations Pave Hawk and the Navy's Anti-Submarine Seahawk. As one of the most produced helicopters in the world, the Black Hawk has made significant contributions to the U.S. military. With excellent performance, survivability, maintainability, and versatility, the Black Hawk has received unanimous praise within the U.S. military. In terms of performance, the Black Hawk encompasses most of the advantages of a 10-ton class medium utility helicopter. Despite nearly 50 years of service, it remains a leader in the medium utility helicopter field. Its advantages mainly lie in environmental adaptability, defense, and versatility. With the experience of the Vietnam War and the need for global operations, the U.S. military set high standards for the operating environment of helicopters, requiring the Black Hawk to perform missions in 90% of the world's regions. Its standard operating environment is set at an atmospheric temperature of 35 degrees Celsius and an altitude of 1,200 meters. Compared to other countries' design requirements, the Black Hawk's environmental design standards are much higher. Thanks to these stringent requirements, the Black Hawk maintains a good operational readiness rate in extreme environments and can be equipped with skis for safe takeoff and landing in snow, swamps, and other special terrains. The U.S. military also required the Black Hawk to hover at 3,000 meters with a weight of 7.7 .7 tons and have a range of at least 600 kilometers, with a maximum speed of 268 kilometers per hour, which imposes certain demands on the engines. For the Black Hawk, this is not a problem. It is equipped with two General Electric T-700 turboshaft engines on the upper sides of the fuselage, with a T-62-T-40-1 auxiliary power unit between them for additional power. The maximum flight speed can reach 357 km per hour. The Black Hawk's protective and survivability capabilities are unparalleled in the helicopter field. Key areas such as the cockpit, engines, and rotor blades are armored to withstand 23mm gunfire and can continue to operate for a certain period even if hit. 
The fuselage is also specially designed for impact resistance and equipped with crash-resistant fuel tanks, effectively preventing fuel leaks in emergency landings. The helicopter can ensure an 85% survival rate for occupants during impacts at speeds up to 11.5 meters per second. The Black Hawk still holds the record for a crash from 13 meters with no casualties inside. To enhance battlefield survivability, it is equipped with missile countermeasure systems, radar warning receivers, and infrared flares to effectively counter enemy missile threats. What truly makes the Black Hawk famous is its strong versatility. The cabin measures 3.84 meters in length, 1.88 meters in width, and 1.37 meters in height, providing ample internal space. Combined with a maximum takeoff weight of 10 tons, the Black Hawk can be fitted with various equipment to perform different missions. The overall design of the Black Hawk also includes numerous interfaces for different task requirements. Due to its exceptional versatility, the U.S. military developed an external storage support system for the Black Hawk. This system adds wings that can be fitted with four auxiliary fuel tanks or various weapons to meet different mission needs. For example, the HH-60J rescue helicopter removes combat equipment to carry three auxiliary fuel tanks and a RAST landing system to perform rescue missions from ships. The MH-60S, used for combat search and rescue and special operations, is equipped with infrared thermal imaging devices and missile laser designators for specific tasks. Overall, as a 10-ton class transport helicopter, the main task of the Black Hawk is to quickly transport personnel to the front line. To achieve this, the Black Hawk can be loaded into AC-130 transport aircraft for strategic mobility and features a large door structure for rapid personnel disembarkation, reducing exposure time under fire. The low tail boom and tricycle landing gear structure allow for quick landings on complex terrain. High power engines enhance high altitude performance, and the combination of powerful engines and a streamlined aerodynamic profile makes the Black Hawk faster than most helicopters. Its flexibility makes it the best aerial platform for leapfrog assault tactics. Considering its versatility and extensive family, it is not impossible for the Black Hawk to remain in service for another half century. However, to make way for the FVL program, the U.S. military's focus on the Black Hawk has dramatically decreased, even planning to cease its production. It was not until the cancellation of the FAR project on February 8, 2024, that the Black Hawk regained attention. After the FAR project was canceled, the U.S. Army announced a rebalance of aviation investments, with the budget savings to be used for the procurement of Black Hawks and Chinooks. Regarding the Black Hawk, the U.S. Army announced the halt of UH-60V production in favor of purchasing the latest UH-60M. Ten years ago, Redstone Defense Systems won a contract to modernize the aging UH-60L Black Hawks in the U.S. Army's inventory, including upgrades like a digital glass cockpit and battlefield situational awareness systems, resulting in the UH-60V. However, during initial operational testing and evaluation in 2019, the UH-60V encountered software reliability issues and the project's progress was delayed by the pandemic, leading to cost increases. Consequently, the U.S. Army decided to move directly to the UH-60M with plans to sign another procurement contract in the 2026 fiscal year. With adequate funding, the U.S. Army's previously proposed Black Hawk upgrade plans can proceed simultaneously. These upgrades include installing new engines and converting the helicopters to unmanned variants. The U.S. Army plans to replace the engines of over 1,300 Black Hawks with new turboshaft engines before 2025, and they also intend to modify an unmanned version. February 2022, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency announced that by equipping Black Hawks with the Aircrew Labor in Cockpit Automation System, they achieved approximately 30 minutes of unmanned flight. On October 2022, a modified Black Hawk helicopter conducted a one-hour unmanned flight test in the desert. According to the plan, the T-901 engine was initially intended for the Black Hawk, Apache, and Farah. 
Although the FAR project was halted, the improved turbine engine program continued, and the development of General Electric's T901 turboshaft engine was postponed rather than terminated. The T901 will still replace the T700 turboshaft engines in the Apache and Black Hawk helicopters. The scale of these two platforms is sufficient to support the development and production of the T901 turboshaft engine, including recouping development costs. From the performance of T901, it can increase the helicopter's power by 50%. Additionally, it significantly improves fuel efficiency, expected to save 25% on fuel consumption. But the development of the T901 faced numerous technical and supply chain issues, causing delays. With the cancellation of FARA, the T901 development is no longer constrained by project timelines, allowing more time for integration with the Black Hawk. The U.S. military plans to deliver two prototypes to Sikorsky in late May or June. Once the engines are in hand, Sikorsky can begin ground operation tests within a month, with the complete testing and integration process taking six months. The battlefield survivability of traditional helicopters in modern warfare is concerning, as evidenced by the significant losses of helicopters on both sides in the Russia-Ukraine war. In future large-scale conflicts, the U.S. Army aviation will face even greater air defense threats, limiting the use of traditional helicopters in such conflicts. This is one reason for the cancellation of the FARA project. Although the FARA, with its coaxial rigid rotors and pusher tail rotor, outperforms traditional helicopters in speed and range, its battlefield survivability against enemy air defenses remains inadequate. In future high-intensity conflicts, unmanned equipment will be crucial. The unmanned version of the Black Hawk will not only handle battlefield transport, but also launch drones to enhance survivability. These drones can perform reconnaissance, interference, electronic warfare, decoy, and loitering strike missions. For the U.S. military, continuing to use the Black Hawk does not mean it will excel on future battlefields, such as in the Pacific. The primary reason the Bell V-280 can replace the Black Hawk is its range. With the U.S. shifting its strategic focus to the Indo-Pacific region, range has become increasingly important. The U.S. military is envisioning a potential war in the Pacific, where the most critical metrics for military aircraft are range and speed. The Black Hawk cannot meet the U.S. military's requirements. It lacks the range for long-distance operations and cannot undertake long-range raids. It cannot fly from a secure base to the combat zone. For example, the UH-60M has a maximum speed of only 294 kilometers per hour, a combat radius of 590 kilometers, and a maximum range of 2,221 kilometers. This maximum range is achievable only with additional short wings, auxiliary fuel tanks, and fully loaded internal and external fuel tanks without carrying any mission payload. With a mission payload, the UH-60M's maximum range is about 1,000 to 1,500 kilometers. The UH-60M needs five hours to cover 1,500 kilometers at maximum speed, which is too slow for the U.S. military. The V-280 has a combat radius of 930 to 1,480 kilometers and a maximum range of 3,900 kilometers, about twice that of the UH-60M. According to a U.S. Army Major General, it is capable of taking off and landing on sea platforms beyond the range of enemy medium-range ballistic missiles and executing rapid amphibious assault missions on designated targets. So in early 2024, the U.S. Army planned to reduce its active Black Hawk fleet by 157 helicopters, about 8% of the total. As early as 2019, the U.S. Army planned to retire all early model UH-60A from the Army National Guard by 2023 and retire all of these helicopters from the Army by 2024. The UH-60L is also on the retirement list. The U.S. Army plans to export retired Black Hawk helicopters as second-hand equipment with an expected price of $2 million per helicopter. In October 2023, Finland's Patria and the United States United Aircraft Corporation reached a preliminary agreement to purchase second-hand Black Hawk helicopters and upgrade them starting in 2024.
Given limited budgets, the U.S. Army chose to maintain existing industrial capabilities over developing new aircraft, preserving the production lines for the Black Hawk and Chinook series helicopters. Although the Black Hawk is not ideal for future Pacific battlefields, it still has potential for upgrades. This concludes this video. How many more years do you think the Black Hawk can continue to serve? Feel free to leave comments below the video for discussion.